G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play the live version of Supermarket Flowers by Ed Sheeran. If you want to learn how to play the studio version of the song, then just check out my tutorial for it right here. Otherwise, let's get into the live version. So for the basics of this live version, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and Ed Sheeran plays this live with a capo on the second fret of his guitar. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com. So let's start with the intro slash break. And this whole song is going to be finger picked. So for the finger picking basics, your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings. And your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. They won't play any other strings other than the ones they're assigned to. So our intro slash break is going to be comprised of three chords. We're going to have a G chord shape and then a G slash B. So that's the same as a G, except you just lift your middle finger up off that shape and you're not going to hit the sixth string. That needs to be muted. So the fifth string here is the bass note for the G slash B. And then our third chord shape is simply C add nine. So that's the same as a G chord shape, except you move those two fingers, the index in the middle, down one string. So firstly, I'm going to show you the finger picking pattern that's used throughout the majority of this song. There are some exceptions to this, but you'll be playing this finger picking pattern mostly. So this finger picking pattern is just four notes. It's the bass note of whatever chord you're playing. So for the G chord, it'll be the sixth string. Then we pluck the third string, second string, and back to the third string. And that's it for our generic picking pattern that we use mostly throughout the song. However, as I mentioned, there are some exceptions and I'll cover them when we get to them. So for the first two chord shapes, the G and the G slash B, we're going to be playing one picking pattern. So it'll sound like this. Make sure when you go to the G slash B, you lift your middle finger so that bass note on the sixth string doesn't ring out anymore. And your new bass note will be the fifth string. Now when we get to the C add 9, this is where we have an exception to that picking pattern. So we're going to start by playing one picking pattern. And then we're going to extend it by plucking the second string, then the third string, and then the second string and third string another time. So the C add 9 all together will sound like this. One picking pattern, then the second, third, second, third. And one more time. And in total, the intro slash break will sound like this. So that's in for the intro, and now we get to the verse. And the verse has three lines of chords. Our first line of chords is exactly the same as the intro. So the G, G slash B, and C add 9. I'm going to play that twice with the exact same finger picking pattern. Then our second line of chords is E minor 7. Now to play this from our G chord, you'll just keep your ring and pinky finger where they are. Your index and middle finger will go on the second fret of the fifth and fourth strings. So we're going to be playing one generic picking pattern here. Again, that's the bass note, the third string, second string, and back to the third string. That's one generic picking pattern. The bass note is the sixth string for the E minor 7. Then we go to a D chord shape and we're going to play one picking pattern. And then we go to a G chord, one picking pattern, and C add nine for one picking pattern. And then for the third line of chords, we have C add nine for one picking pattern. Then we go to D for one picking pattern. And then we end on a G chord. Now this G is going to be played for an extended picking pattern, similar to what we have in the first line with the C add 9. So the last G will sound like this. In total, the whole verse will sound like this.
So just to recap, each chord is played for one generic picking pattern, with the exception of the C add 9 that I've highlighted here, which is extended, and with the exception of the G, which is the last chord, which is extended as well. Now we get to the pre-chorus, and it's just going to be based off four chord shapes. We're going to start with the A minor 7, like this. Then we're going to go to a C sus 2. So to play a C sus 2, we're just going to play a C chord, but we'll lift our middle finger, and that's C sus 2. Our third chord is G, except with this G chord shape, you only need to push down your index and middle finger. And then we end on a D chord. Now the A minor 7 and the C sus 2 will have a different picking pattern, slightly different to our generic picking pattern. For the A minor 7 and C sus 2, our picking pattern will be the bass note of whatever chord. Then we're going to play the 4th string, 2nd string, and then back to the 4th string. And that's the picking pattern for the A minor 7 and the C sus 2. When we get to the G and the D, we just return to the normal generic picking pattern, which is just bass note, 3rd string, 2nd string, and then 3rd string. So altogether, the pre-chorus will sound like this. And you just play that twice. So now we get to the chorus and the chorus just has two lines of chords and it's really easy because each chord is played for one generic picking pattern. There's no variations, it's just the generic picking pattern played once for each chord which is really nice and easy. So the first line of chords is G, G slash B, C add 9 and then we go to D. We play that line twice and then our second line of chords is the E minor 7, C add 9, G and then D. So the chorus will sound like this in total. That's it for the chorus, and the last thing that we need to learn for this song is the very last chorus, which differs a tiny bit. There's no picking pattern here for the last chorus. You'll just pluck the bass note, the second and third strings for each chord. We have two lines of chords for this last chorus. We go G, and then we go to a B minus 7. Now from this G position, you'll lift your middle finger and you'll place it on the second fret of the third string. So we have B minus 7 there and then we go to a C add 9 and we pluck that. Again, with the bass note, the third string and second strings together. And then the second line of chords is E minor 7, C add 9, G, and then D. And you play that line of chords twice and then we end the song with a G. Nice and easy. Now each chord up in the annotation will be held out for two beats with the exception of the C add 9 at the end of the first line which is held out for four beats. I'm going to play the live version in its entirety and I'm going to have a vocal track on top for some context. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along too and see how you go.
Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for supermarket flowers. Again, this is the live version, so if you play this to the studio recorded version, it's going to sound different. If you want to learn how to play the studio version, then check out my tutorial for that right here. Make sure you head over to guitarzerotohero.com as well to pick up my free guitar ebook. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and click that little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on any updates. Leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests. I read absolutely everything, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. You were the someone waiting for me. We were just kids when we fell.